However, um, it, nobody likes, likes losing a job. I would love to know your thoughts on her decision to film it and then post it. 133693. Sue Ellison is a career expert. Good afternoon, Sue. Hi, Tony. How's it going? Very well, Sue. Is it a course of action you'd recommend um, that you uh, put on the video recorder on your phone uh, before you sit in front of your computer to have a meeting with your employer where you know you're about to lose your job? Well, in Brittany's case, she did have some forewarning because yep. a lot of her colleagues were having suffering the same thing and it was happening in 15-minute intervals. Now, last year on TikTok, we saw Quick Talk, which was where people were filming when they chose to resign. Uh, yes. We're seeing Sack Talk, where people Sack are talk. filming. <laughs> I've just made that up today. I it's like it. A worldwide release. Yep. Um, but, you know, I think... It's a really interesting thing because all of us have suffered some form of sacking at some point. Yep. Or, you know, I'd probably say 90% of us have probably had that experience. And what I like about her video is she's very eloquent. Mm. She specifically asks for the facts. Is it performance related? Now, there was a movie back in 2009 with George Clooney called Up in the Air. And this bright young whippersnapper came into the office and said, we don't need to do sackings in person anymore. We can do it by video conferencing. And, of course, it all went pear-shaped. And and then the guy ended up back in the role sacking people individually. So here we are in 2024 in January, which is a time when a lot of people do tend to lose their jobs because the employers think they're being nice and letting them get through Christmas. And then they, you know, rally it out in in January. And, yeah, so I think... The, the feedback that she's been getting has been really positive. Mm. Would I recommend it as a strategy? Possibly not. And also, what other moments would we film in our lives? I know that we definitely film our weddings. And yeah, and childbirth and all that sort of stuff. But not probably getting sacked. So, yeah. and, and also, I mean, she may be contravening the social media policy of the organisation as well by putting out something that's disreputable, she could face legal action. And, of course, here in Australia, an employer would need to provide three warnings if it was performance-based, the reason they were losing their job. So would you hire Brittany? It would depend on the role. Now, a couple of the comments that were coming through were her being an advocate, considering studying law. She's very eloquent. She presents an information logically. Yeah. Would I want someone as challenging that to work with on a daily basis? Possibly not. But then me personally, I choose to work on my own and avoid politics altogether. So I'm probably not the best person to ask. But I think there would definitely be a market for someone like her. And interestingly, she hasn't posted on TikTok for quite a while. Mm. But now she's she's realised that this is a statement she'd like to make and she wants to share it with the world. And it seems to have been picked up and gone very viral. 23 million people, if you don't mind. Uh, 133693, 133693, would you film uh, you being sacked? Would you put it online? Uh, is there a moment in your life you wish you had filmed? Uh, 133693, I'm speaking with Sue Ellison, who's a career expert. What you do get from it, I mean, I, mm. yes, there is a lot of blather and weasel words coming from the HR department. And, and the thing that uh, upsets Brittany in this uh, is mm. the fact that she does not know the people who are sacking her. She is not yes. dealing with her manager. And Mm -hmm. she thought she was doing well and and she had no sense that this was coming. Or or Mm -hmm. at the very least, she couldn't see the context for her retrenchment because, as Mm. she pointed out, um, she'd only been there three months. It was a difficult time of year and and all the rest of it. You do, Mm. however, feel for the two people who you do not see, you only hear them, Mm. they have have been given the difficult job of, of... terminating somebody's career at this point. Yes. Um, how do you think they should have handled it? Do you think we should have sympathy for people who are doing the sacking? I definitely believe we should have sympathy for the people doing the sacking. And traditionally, HR cops the blame for the inadequacy of the manager in conveying that point in the first place yeah. if it was performance-related. So, yes. Now, what I also felt sorry for is they were obviously given a script that they had to mm. follow for these multiple sackings <laughs> yep. and that, you know, we're going to part ways. They didn't say you've lost your job. I yeah. mean, it was, it was very eloquent.
different the way they did it. But I was impressed by Rosie, who was the HR manager. She maintained a very calm disposition throughout it all. And she did offer to provide the facts to Brittany afterwards, even though she would have left employment and it's all said and done and, you know, it's probably not relevant. And then, of course, the video goes into the next steps because regardless of whether it was because of performance or anything else, Brittany was leaving, so therefore they had to go through the process. So I think there were a lot of things that they did as well as they could, but one comment said, oh, well, they said sorry, so therefore they're at fault. I I don't really see Mm, that. I I think a lot of people with that task of letting someone go, it it is a very difficult role as well. And it would be lovely to hear from some of your listeners who who face that situation. Well, 133693, there is, it's very hard to put a bow on it. It just is, especially Mm. when when you don't want to be sacked or you feel that you've got nothing to go to. This, um, Brittany is smart. She's, um, as as you said, she's really articulate. She's certainly not going to suffer from the exposure this has got. She's got a bright future Mm. ahead of her because she was able to very, as I said, give a very good account of herself, and she re- mm. retained or remained pretty measured throughout the whole thing. So, um, but that said, uh, it, it is a low point in our lives that many of us remember. So, you've you've uh, you yourself have been brilliant and eloquent, and I appreciate your time this afternoon. Thanks, Tony. That's Sue.